James, that was fast. That was fast. Yours truly, God bless. How's everybody doing? Peter, P, how you doing? Lori, God bless. Robin, Ellie, Cherish, how you doing? Pearl, Freya, Wendy, Mimi, how you doing? Chris, thank you, Chris, for stuff, sending me stuff. God bless. Deb, Rhonda, Four Horsemen. Sins are paid in full. God bless. Pamela. Freya, Ann, how you doing? God bless. Betty, Southern Prepper, how you doing? Mark, how you doing? Gina, God bless. Pamela, God bless. DJ, God bless. Robin, God bless. I'm using these Bible verses right here. These are the Bible verses that I'm going to use right here. It says right here, it says there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the purse on the upon the earth distress upon nations with perplexity and the seas and waves roaring. It says men's hearts will fail them for fear after those things which are coming on the earth, the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right here. This is the, these are the Bible verses I, I'm going after. This one right here, it says, uh, they shall fall by the edge of the sword. It says, and shall be led away captive of all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the Gentiles is fulfilled. This right here is until we're gone. It says, until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. They will be trodden down until the Gentiles are fulfilled. This is when we leave. The first will be last, and the last will be first. That's what that means. Men's hearts will fail them for fear. Right here. And it talks, behold the fig tree and all the trees. It says, behold the fig trees and all the trees. That's what the apple trees, that's the pear trees, that's the all the trees, not just the fig trees. This is only, as I have said before, this is only in Luke. Behold the fig trees and all the trees. In Luke it only says all the trees. That's why we should be reading the Bible from Luke. Luke is for the bride. I have said this before and many other people say it. People read out of Matthew and Mark. Matthew and Mark is not for the Gentiles, for us, the bride. Luke is for the bride. It says, behold all the trees. It says right here in Luke 21, 36, it only says this in Luke 21, 36. It says, watch therefore and pray always that you are accounted worthy to escape all these things that come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. You will not find this in Matthew or Mark. Why? Matthew and Mark is not for us, the bride. Matthew and Mark, to be specific, if you go to Luke chapter 1, it talks about, in Luke chapter 1, it talks about a wedding in Luke chapter 1. Matthew, or Matthew, it talks about the tribes of, the tribes of Israel. It talks about the 12 tribes of Israel for the Jews. 
and Mark is for the sleepy church, as I agree, Mark is for, it talks about John the Baptist. So if you know who they're talking to, you'll know who, who it's speaking to. And there's many people that know this. The Sword of God, uh, Alan from Ministry of Veiled, uh, Jesus said in Matthew and Mark, he said, Father, why did you forsake me? In Matthew and Mark, he didn't say that in Luke. In Luke, he said, into my father, into your arms I come. So most people know that Luke is for us. So if anybody's reading out of Matthew and Mark, you know that they don't know this. They have to be, it, also Jesus' robe. Jesus' robe in, in, in Luke was beautiful. And in Matthew and Mark, they weren't. You can, you, can, you can research that for yourself. So, <clears throat> these are the Bible verses I'm using right here. So if anybody ever says anything to you about in Matthew and Mark, it's not for us. The bride is, for, the bride is in Luke. All the keys for the bride are in Luke. So, um, as I said right here, it says the sun and moon and the earth distress upon nations. The earthquakes have been picking up. The earthquake has been picking up. As you can see right here, is it clear for you guys? Is it clear for you guys? Lee, God bless. Is it pretty clear? Okay. If it's clear, good. Thank you, everybody. So, as you can see right here, it says, Alerts at magnitude 7.6 earthquake. Planets in months hits West Pacific. These earthquakes are picking up. Waves are going to be roaring. Let's get over this. Thanks, John. Our earth magnetic field is very weak right now. Magnetic field is very weak right now. Solar storm from our sun. But the other storms still keep coming at night in the back all the time. Thanks, John. Diane, God bless. Good seeing you. Prepper, camper, God bless. And the wind is good, strong, and strong. About three days ago, until last night, we got a three zero of the arrow that point against our solar wind. So yeah, um, Southern Prepper, I will answer your question. When you read the Bible, you got to read the whole Bible and you got to read the verse before it. It says when heaven and earth passes away. When it when heaven and that earth passes away is not when we leave. Okay? No one knows that day or hour. It says when heaven and earth passes away. So I answered your question. If you go to Thessalonians, it says you brethren won't be in darkness of that day. You won't be in darkness of that day. So, so the Bible tells you in 1 Thessalonians 
that we will not be in darkness of that day. We are the children of the light. We are the children of the day. That day won't come upon us and we are unaware. Being unaware is not knowing what day it is. We will know that day as that day approaches. We are supposed to watch as Jesus said in Luke 21, 36. Luke 21, 36 says, watch and pray always that you are accounted worthy to escape all these things. I do that every day. People on my channel do that every day. We are, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and follow me. So those people that say no one knows the day or the hour, read the other verse that's right next to it. It says, the next verse says, when heaven and earth passes away. When heaven and earth passes away is not when we leave. Okay, so you go to 1 Thessalonians and it says, you brethren, won't be in darkness of that day. You are the children of the light. You are the children of the day. That day won't come upon you as a thief. Well, if you aren't watching, you are going to be as a thief. And I'm not going to get into it, but that is the facts. So, but also, um, Matthew, read chapter one of Matthew. Read chapter one of Luke. Read that chapter 1 of Mark. It speaks to different groups. The disciples knew this. I know this. The Lord showed me this. Jesus, Jesus' disciples said, are you talking to me? Jesus' disciples said, are you talking to me or are you talking to everyone? Jesus' disciples knew this. Jesus was talking to different groups. Jesus' disciples knew that. Yeah, that's that's a boom. So, like I said, that's not what this video is about. I've taught these lessons before. And, uh, so our magnetic field is very weak right now. That's why we're getting earthquakes. Not very good. And it disappears so many times. I'm going to get into that sun going to darkness. Take a look. Right here for the sun. Okay. But you can see that. The color behind our earth is so stronger than the color. That no problem, brother. It's just I'm tired. Everybody's tired. I'm ready to get out of here. Spin any energy that comes from the back side. For the bottom or for the top that hit earth is so strong than our solar wind or solar storm. Get to see class so many times. Yesterday almost 30 C class in 24 hours. But those are the solar fair that's fetching and sending the radiation EUV primarily and x ray to earth. The sharp particles from CFE are not directly to hit Earth. Therefore, our Earth magnetic field is very weak. Don't forget that the sharp particle, the plasma that comes from CFE, uh, going to the Earth core. The Earth it does light the battery, right? So when the sharp particle from the sun go to the Earth core, so it put up our earth energy to be strong and can produce more strength whether that be or David God bless strength. Stephanie God bless right now, like that. okay I want to thank Michael for giving me this so in other words the earth's atmosphere is getting weak it's weaker I expect these these events to start happening right here waves roaring right here men's farts failing them for fear Right here, in all his glory, right here. I believe these right here are going to be happening. And why? Right here, I showed you. Jupiter. We are getting close to Jupiter. This tug of war is going to get very big. As I have said before. Here, right here, I showed this before. This is in opposition. Right here, it's the closest in 70 years. Very interesting that it's 70 years 
It's closest opposition in 70 years. Yeah, I agree, Michael. Thank you for this information. He's good. I agree with him. That video that Michael sent me is very good. Right here, this video is very good. Thank you, Michael. So we are we, we are getting it's going to be getting worse. These earthquakes that I showed you here, they're going to be getting worse because our magnetic field is weaker. It's going to have more earthquakes. So we're we're at opposition. This is on the twenty fifth and twenty sixth, but it's going to start at the equinox. Right here, the equinox, right here. It says right here, also called September equinox, so the fall equinox arrives on Thursday the 22nd. These right here, this is going to, uh, this is, this is uh, in Jupiter. Jupiter is also here at the equinox, which is going to make big earthquakes, as I showed. Right here it says, this was just today. It says, it says, uh, cracks, cracks are appearing in Earth's magnetic field as the equinox, equinox approaches. But it also has an effect with Saturn because Saturn's pulling at us too. So it's not just the equinox, it's also because of Saturn. It's the closest to Earth in, in 70 years. Right here, 70 years. Jupiter at opposition this month, closest in 70 years. Jupiter is rising in true darkness and fall and falls. In fact, it's very bright object ascending in the east through the evening. It's going to be closest on the 26th, but it's also uh, <clears throat> it's also uh, because of the equinox. Also, They're just like I'm showing, it's the closest in seven years. The cracks. This was from 2015, but the the uh, article that, that's an old, old animation. But this is uh this is talking about the equinox right here. It says right here it says stock images of solar. Like I said, it says a stock image of solar winds hitting the Earth and magnetic due to the alignment of our magnetic field towards the sun at the equinoxes. More solar winds slip through, resulting in auroras. So at the equinox, they're saying, because of the Earth's tilt, we're going to have more uh, um, solar winds pass through. That's what it says right there, but it's a stock image. And this is uh, at the... Uh, September 22nd. Also, nobody's talking about this. There's a lot of stuff going on this month. To 650 light years from Earth, it is also one of the brightest stars that are currently known, with a fluctuating diameter that ranges from 515 million miles to 900 million miles, depending on how God it's bless, John. contraction and measured. This enormous scale implies that Betelgeuse would totally envelop Earth without a second thought, extending from the core of our solar system past the orbit of Mars and possibly matching the extent of Jupiter's orbit. It's a good thing it's not our next-door neighbor, don't you think? 
Its estimated age is 10 million years, which indicates that it's nearing the end of its lifespan for a star the size of Betelgeuse. Considering that we're discussing cosmological time, which is measured in millions or even at billions of years, rather than decades like human life, the phrase approaching the end is obvious. Gina, God bless. Large LA, God bless. Like Sally. Considerably faster than smaller stars, despite having a mass 20 times that of the sun. For instance, our sun, which is 4.6 billion years old, won't exhaust its hydrogen supply, its fuel, for another 5 billion years. While the beetle juice is guzzling its fuel and blasting out light at an astounding rate, making it for the most of the year the 10th brightest star in the night sky, there is nothing brighter on the infrared scale. Betelgeuse is a dazzling, unusual, and incredibly luminous star in our sky, but all of these features also indicate that when it runs out of fuel, it will do so in a fairly dramatic way. You guessed it right, Betelgeuse will go supernova in the future. A supernova, or the violent death of a huge star, is one of the most dramatic celestial events in our universe. Such a star eventually runs out of fuel through nuclear fusion and collapses under the weight of its own vast mass. However, when the density at the core reaches a specific threshold, it rebounds outwards in a catastrophic explosion. Betelgeuse is one of the biggest stars we've ever found, therefore its eventual explosive conclusion may also be one of the most magnificent supernovae in millions of years. A supernova's initial explosive explosion can happen in less than two minutes, but the radiation that is subsequently sent racing out into space at the speed of light may continue to stay at its maximum brightness for months before finally fading and dimming. Betelgeuse is classified as a type 2 supernova since it will explode due to core collapse and is such a huge star. On the other hand, type 1 supernovae are thought to result from mass being sucked into a white dwarf when a star is in a binary system, like when a twin eats its sibling while still in the womb. Given the scale of Betelgeuse, it will put on quite a show when it ultimately dies. The sum of superluminous supernovae can be brighter than an entire gallery of stars. This star, as was previously indicated, is unquestionably nearing the end of its lifespan. It is predicted to explode in a supernova sometime in the next million years. In light of this, it should be noted that estimations of star lifespans... Well, like I said, they say it's supposed to explode in September, which is kind of funny. Because they, they say it's supposed to explode in September, but we'll see. There's five asteroids coming. With Things are picking up in that with the asteroids. I've been watching this. As I said, we got uh, we got Didymus coming. And uh, they started coming this week. The asteroids. Twin asteroids, yep. Yeah, but they... It's an asteroid field, and they're coming. They already started coming this week. One's going to be here on the 18th. That one's in two days.
That one's on the 18th. They're uh, getting more and more. This one right here is on the 18th, I believe, also. Two of them on the 18th. So we got we got uh, two asteroids they are picking up. As I show you, there's uh, multiple, multiple asteroids on one day from what they're saying. And they're picking up because uh, Didymus, the... It has a, it's an asteroid field, and uh, this is the DART mission, which I have talked about. This is at the 26th. called Neowise. So they're saying, like I said, this is an asteroid. They call it an um, asteroid field. I showed you where the asteroids are picking up. They started coming towards the Earth. And as it gets towards the 18th, there's even two asteroids on the 18th. They're, they're picking up. I'm going to keep watching this and see if there's more coming. This right here I wanted to show, this right here is an IPEC GO. This is the moon phase on Obama's cheek right here. That looks like the 22nd right in here, 23rd right in here. Looks like right in here. And as I said, the queen is, uh, they're going to be out of the United States. They say it's not going to hit. They know that Babylon's going to be destroyed. And they're all leaving the country. Very interesting. So this is on Obama's cheek right here. I showed you about the earthquakes. I wanted to show... Uh, these are the Bible verses because that Beetlejuice is in Orion. It says... It says... Uh, Beetlejuice is about ready to explode. They've been saying it could happen 100 years, but they also said that it was going to happen in September. Very interesting. It says right here, it says, Seeketh him that make the seven stars in Orion and turn the shadow of death into morning and make it the day dark with night. So in other words, during noon, during the day, he's going to turn it to darkness and call us the waters of the sea, pour them out on the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. This is the other one. So Betelgeuse is in Orion. And I showed you the seven stars right here that are lit up. The seven stars that are lit up. This is also when Jupiter is at op opposition. It's the closest to the earth in 70 years and you have mercury in opposition around that time so 
I'm expecting bigger earthquakes. We will watch and see. Also, solar flares, as I showed you, um, I showed you right here. They're talking about at the equinox. At the equinox right here, the magnetic field is the weakest, and due to the alignment, our magnetic field towards the sun at the equinoxes, solar winds slip through, resulting in auroras. So this is a vulnerable time at the equinoxes. That's a date we're watching the 23rd, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, right in there at area. We could get a solar flare, uh, solar flare, which would also cause bigger earthquakes right here. They are a lot stronger aftermath of a CME. Um, also, too, the Bible verse about the, the earth runs a circuit, like running a race with the bridegroom coming out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. That, that's, uh, that's uh, what is that? Psalms 119. You guys would know, but I know it. I know it, but I'd have to... It's not one I know by heart. So I showed you the explosion. They're saying this could happen anytime, but they're saying right here it's an explosion in September. Finally exploding in September. We'll see. Showed you about the cracks. Showed you that. The earthquakes. Um, right here it says in Malachi which uh, these are two Bible verses I'm going by too. It says right here, it says Malachi, but who can endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears? It says the day of the wrath, it says who can stand? That's almost like an earthquake. So I showed you this. I had another one up here. But, uh, and at night again, the proton density is much more higher than the daytime. You can see that very, very strong energy allowed the earth. So, should at night, can see that energy go to the earth's surface at the daytime? Right here, we have a gap with the white color. And uh, the blue one, the blue one is a true proton, it's not good at all. But at night, at night, Earth is hitting by another sun, solar, wind, and solar storm. It's not good at all. You can see that the growing, it doesn't come from the front, it comes from somewhere either down here or up here. One more time. Right. <laughs> so, therefore, someone link the DB group or the disease or the key or any any name, okay? But it's not only one solar system that come inside our solar system and it's not only one star that come inside our solar system at least at least three star or three solar system that come inside our solar system and it took like that it come across the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars Therefore, it's really coming to inner solar system. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. The weather right now, if you do or you see, or you make... So he's talking about the exact same thing I am with the magnetic field being weak like it is. He's saying that there's uh, things coming in our solar system. With our with our shields being weak. Kiola, any any name, okay? But it's not only one 
solar system can come inside our solar system. And it's not only one star that come inside our solar system. At least, at least three star or three solar system that come inside our solar system. And it took like that it come across the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Therefore, so he says it's coming between Mars and Jupiter right here. He said there's three solar systems. They're coming right here. So that's probably what the DART mission is trying to deflect. It's coming right here. He's saying it's coming between Jupiter and Mars right here. Play it again. Right. So, therefore, someone need me to do or to see or to the key or like any, any name, okay? But it's not only one solar system that come inside our solar system. And it's not only one star that come inside our solar system. At least, at least three star or three solar system that come inside our solar system. And so that's why these asteroids are coming, as I said, as I showed. These asteroids are coming. There's a lot of garbage coming through our solar system. And that's the Bible verses that I showed you. Men's hearts will fail them for fear. Um, and it's also at a time when our, when our, um, our, uh, our magnetic field is weak that could deflect them. And as I showed you, it's weakest at the equinoxes. It's the weakest at the equinoxes. It took like that. It come across the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Therefore, it's really coming to inner solar system. Okay, he said it's coming to the inner solar system between Jupiter and Mars right here. Here's the asteroid belt. Can you see it? Here's the asteroid belt right here. He's saying it's coming between these right here. It's coming right here. This is Jupiter, this is Mars. Jupiter, Mars. The asteroid belt is coming right through here. The big map of the location 
about five days ago. It's very big. It covers five continents. Europe, Asia, North America, Africa, and Australia. Yesterday, it's still, still big. Africa, Europe, Asia, and North America for continental. It's not good at all. States are uh, from my speaker. That's what I was talking about, about it would be here about the 20th, that sunspot that, that was blew off on Venus. I talked about that a week or so ago. It's going to be back here. It's going to be back here uh, around the 20th. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. As I said, um, the earthquakes have picked up right here, as I showed the earthquakes have picked up. This one right here, it says uh, the largest earthquake, 7.6 in the planet in months, hits West Pacific. We'll have to see what happens. As I said, the Bible verses that I'm using is this right here. It says right here, it says, uh, it says waves will be roaring. This would cause the waves to roar with earthquakes, would cause waves roaring, tsunamis. Um, this men's heart's failing them for fear. 
it says, Then you shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and great glory. It says, When you see these things come to pass, look up your heads, your redemption draweth nigh. That's 28 right here. So, then he gave the parable of the fig tree right here. The equinox I showed, um, the equinox I showed during the equinox, the uh, magnetic fields are the weakest. And that's the 22nd, September 22nd. It's also, I believe, 12 hours in a day. I showed you the seven stars in Orion. These are the verses right here. I showed the seven stars right here that are lighting up. He says that the asteroids are coming through here. And they're coming from the asteroid belt right here. We will see. We will see. This is just information. I'm just showing you information and you can take it for what you want. Right here it shows, says there's cracks appearing. And I showed you where, where the magnetic fields is. Also, there's strange sounds coming. There's strange sounds coming. Um, I missed that. I'll show that some other time. There's strange sounds coming. Right here, Jupiter at opposition this month, closest in 70 years. This is the cracks in the magnetic field. You, everybody can feel it. A Betelgeuse is getting ready to explode. They're saying in September, but then they said could happen a million years from now. I showed you the asteroids that they're coming uh, the 18th. There's more coming at the end of the month. Right here, this is Neowise, or uh, this is uh, Didymus and Dimorphos, the mission, the DART mission that they spent billions of dollars on. Showed you Obama's cheek, which is right in here, the 22nd. I showed you the earthquakes. Who can stand the Bible verses, which is kind of doesn't say an earthquake, but kind of preludes who can stand. If you can't stand, it says... Uh, um, weighing like a drunkard also in the Bible. Here he's saying it's coming, it's coming through the asteroid belt. Magnetic fields weak. There's some other stuff I had, but I can't find it. There's a lot of stuff here. It's been 48 minutes. God bless. Hope you're all doing well. I'm going to end it here. Um, like I said, we'll see what happens. That's all we can do, see what happens. I just give you the information. If it happens, it happens. We know that the earthquakes have been picking up in intensity as, it's, as it shows right here. These are the earthquakes in the last day. We had them in Alaska. That one uh, was in the Pacific. There's an M-class solar flare earthquake update, 5.2, 5.2. There was a 7.6. There's a there was a 6.8 in China. Um, three days ago, I don't know if this is the same one. Get it, guy? It was 7.6. We'll see. God bless. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks, everybody. Sorry I came early, but people can replay it.